This fucking guy is the big meat of, of content of creativity right now. This is insane. Day by day is the shizzle. Creative House DMV. I fucking love this thing. Thank All right. You, so Thank for you. those who don't know, what is it and where did it come from? So Creative House DMV is a reality show where we selected 12 artists out of the 100 artists that auditioned for the show. We got a mansion. We put them in a mansion for 48 hours, gave them every resource that they could ever desire as far as makeup artists. Um, they had photographers, videographers. We had a studio. We had a chef. Make sure they didn't have to leave the house. Everything. So we gave them 48 hours to make the best content, make the best impact they can make. And um, whoever won, they got a cash prize um, and a prize from all of our sponsors. Yeah. How yeah, much was, was the cash prize? Cash prize, it was only two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars. That's what I could afford after doing it, but like it was it was fruitful and it was valuable. Yeah, the whole that's, thing. Bro, that's so, yeah. more than enough because you're giving them <laughs> sponsors and just the opportunity. Yes. Sir. Even if you don't win the whole thing, the fact mm-hmm. that you got to collaborate with you said twelve other people? Yeah, twelve other people. Uh, you got to collaborate with eleven other people, mm-hmm. make Music, make content, whatever it is, mm-hmm. and that right there is a gift. Exactly, because and they only like within the house. Yeah, they could use everything. So I was, I was telling them, even if you don't win, when you go back home, you'll have three months worth of content that'll set you apart mm-hmm. from your peers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you just, how, how did this come about? So that's a great question. So um, and shout out to DJ Bree Mafia and Trilla K. Um, they had a performance in their basement and they used to throw shows in there all the time. So I would go, they finally asked me to come through. So I went there and met them for the first time. I performed, um, had a great, great, great set. And I went upstairs after, I was sitting in the kitchen, just chilling, uh, meeting people that were walking by. And I noticed, so Sir EU was there as well. So we go um, in a room with Sir EU and I go upstairs and I realize, okay, the living room is a bedroom. The dining room's a bedroom, and then there's like three or four bedrooms upstairs. So it's like seven artists that live in this house alone. Mm. And they're all, you know, pretty big name artists around the area. So I was wondering, I was like, man, it'd be dope if someone like actually filmed what happens in this house because I didn't know it existed. Mm. And from that point, just for the next week, that stuck with me. And I'm like, I could do that. I could literally put a whole bunch of artists in a house, just get an Airbnb, and um, just give them the opportunity. And at this point in my career, I had... You know, I knew four different photographers, four different videographers, four different uh, engineers. So I literally had more than enough resources to give them. And literally, I thought of this at the end of January, and the whole thing was filmed by April 9th. Wait, you thought of this January what? Oh, last, last year. year. January last year, okay. yep. And then the whole thing was finished filmed by, by April. Fil- filmed by April 9th. We thought it was going to come out in June, and my label was like, this is something that you can't rush at all. Mm-hmm. We have to take our time. We submitted that first episode to my manager. Shout out to Brady from AMG. We submitted it about 10 different times, and he told us no the first nine times. This is not it. It's, mm-hmm. it's not giving me the feel I need to feel. Um, I, I would stop watching this after five minutes. So and that's why I love him because a lot a lot of people don't like how direct he is. I love it though. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, pushes it me. I'm butt. like, cool. So when we sent him that Tim time, he was like, "This is it," mm-hmm. and I trust y'all to do the rest at this point. And we thought we'd be done in June, but we ended up we just finished the actual editing of the show in November, mm-hmm. and then we started planning all the marketing and the campaign between mm-hmm. December, so we can come out with it in March. Um, you mentioned earlier how it was a Detroit artist yes, that was sir. featured in it. So the 100 candidates that um, auditioned, were where were they off? I'm pretty sure a majority was from DMV. Majority's but. from DMV. Um, I would say the one that's really not from the DMV is, her name is Empower. Mm-hmm. She's from Tampa, Florida. She's... Um, and she's not, I would say they don't receive her well because she's such a different, you know, unique artist there. So she started hanging out with me here mm-hmm. and she knew a few people from here and she just, you know, made this home for her. Mm-hmm. So she's, you know, making like a DMV is a new home for her. And um, we have an artist named Akeen Shamar. He lives in California. He's been there the last seven years, but he grew up in the DMV area until like 2014. Gotcha. So he's another one. And then Rod Deshaun, he's back and forth from Detroit and DC all the time. Mm-hmm. So most of them are from the DMV for sure, because that's, you know, Creative House DMV. But the only one that's not is Empower, but y'all will be seeing her a lot more in the DMV area. She flies in and out all the time. There we go. Um, when filming uh, the Creative House DMV, what was the vibes like in shooting uh, those 48 oh, hours? Man. So Playing With Fire, I want to give a big shout out to Playing With Fire. That was our production crew. Mm. 
And I'm not gonna. Meant, I thought you meant you were playing with fire in it. As a, as <laughs> you had different characters. Nah, okay, okay, okay. That's their name. So that's that's and that's their aesthetic too. They're willing to kind of take those chances mm-hmm. like that. So you know, for any production crew to film a reality show, they're gonna charge you at least three stacks plus. Mm-hmm. They, I'm not gonna tell you the exact number, but under a stack, they were able to do the whole thing for me oh, to the should, point I, I wanted to give them extra money at the end just yeah. just to have to edit oh, yeah. it, you know, for how long we took. So they saw the vision as much as I did, and they had interviewed me a couple months before. And when I'm thinking. And who's gonna film this? Reached out to a couple of people, and they, you know, they were busy with their schedules. They, you know, weren't really grasping the concept, so they were just like, "Money first, and we'll talk." But playing with fire, when I talk to them, they're like, "Yo, let's do it. Mm. Let's do it. Like, let's let's get it done." And when we got to the to the crib, the vibe it, it was scary perfect. Mm. It was like everyone jailed. In most reality shows, there's natural drama, right, so right. I expected at least a little bit, mm-hmm. but there mm-hmm. was none, and that and that was the biggest um, thing that the feedback that I got from the critics that watched the premiere was that this show was so entertaining mm-hmm. to the point I didn't realize there was no drama. No drama. It's a whole bunch of laughs, good vibes, really talented artists, and even a couple artists like their songs. They weren't the best, but they had a really, really good vibe. So I brought them there, and then when I get there and hear the songs that I didn't hear from them, mm-hmm. one of the, they're some of the best in the group. Mm-hmm. So and I'm still finding out like a year later how good some of these artists are. Yeah. So it's it's insane like how everything just came together, and we had seven episodes worth of content from 48 mm-hmm. hours. Damn. So y'all was going, I'm pretty sure like y'all barely slept. Barely slept. I didn't sleep like for the last, for the, I'd probably say like the last 32 hours of it, I didn't sleep. I slept a little bit that first night. Uh That second night, we had to pick the winner. Uh We stayed up all night. It was the hardest decision I've ever had to make. That shit was like the, uh. The OJ jury verdict. Yeah. Well, no, nah, that was actually <laughs> that was actually simple. We just came down to that one lady that was like, but they, like, they nah, swear. but yeah, that's yeah. literally the whole night we were talking, and we had we had we had went through like three or four different winners mm-hmm. before we actually had the winner, and it was a part of everyone. That's why I'm glad the whole so the the judges were actually no one knew, but they were they were the photographers, the videographers, the oh. all the resources because they got to see the stuff I couldn't see because I yeah. was so busy. Yeah. So when they're telling me all the stories of everyone, that's when we were able to finally put together through all the minds. And that's why I love connecting more minds than just mine because I know I'm very smart, very bright, but I, you know I'm limited to my perspective. Mm-hmm. So from them giving me that, we knew at that point we picked the right artist to win that, mm-hmm. and everyone knew it, and they they were happy for the person. That's, that's what's up. up. That's what's up. So. Okay, yeah. So that's what's up. So ultimately, go into further detail of what led you all to agree on picking this one person. Like, does it go with uh, music that they created in front of y'all, music that they brought to y'all? Like, what actually goes into the very detail of picking the winner? Hmm. So without without giving too much, yeah. Um, I would say we went. The criteria was who had the best song, mm-hmm. who had the best photos who had literally every everyone that worked with all the resources mm-hmm. at the end it wasn't even who turned in the most things but it was like who had the best value in what they did quality like, over quantity yeah, it was literally quality over quantity so when we saw that and we saw um you know there was it was different people dancing it was different like you know everyone's music videos even though how those came out and shout out to playing with fire again they edited eight music videos in those 48 in hours, those 48 hours. Yeah. really just the second day because I didn't give them the go ahead to start filming the music videos until the second mm. day because I was like it may interfere with the film another show yeah. which in a sense it did but it did it in a great way because yeah. like I don't know if you saw the Lil Saint music video um, and that featured everyone in Creative House and that was my song we had to refilm that whole thing because they got they lost the SD card. So to this day, there's an SD card in that house that has my music video in there, oh, and man. a lot more footage that we yes. just we lost because we they were filming music videos yeah. and the show at the same time. But it came it came together beautifully though. I That's what's up. So was there ever? Um, I asked this because I was just watching a, a clip on Twitter from making the band. Was there ever like a, a battle moment? Was there any type of battle set up between artists? Like you know any type of competition? Well, it was in a sense you can say like in a battle, but it was we have a one episode that's a cipher that's just like showing all the artists like freestyle, um, and it's mixed with only vibes too. That's a um, platform around here in the DMV, and I'm grateful that they let us use their footage. But um, yeah, so we and that's in a sense with Lil Saint too. It was you got served. We had a you got served like dance battle. That's what really what inspired Lil Saint because Lil Saint's from that movie, Lil mm-hmm. Saint to Rico. Yeah. So. Um, 
Yeah, we had them literally. We had a whole dance battle, man. And mm. I love that because no one was acting too cool. We yeah. got everyone, people doing the worm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like people people doing backflips in that joint. We boxing in there with the gloves. Like yeah. it was just, it was amazing. So That's what's up. yeah, man. And people related to making the band all the time. And I've never even seen that show. So I got to check it out. As the season's going along, how can... Uh, how can we? How can consumers catch each episode? Boom! And I announced it this morning. It's gonna be. This was a long battle between networks, but we decided we want the most viewers possible. So we're gonna go YouTube. Nice. Yeah, we're dropping on YouTube. We're doing two episodes on the first Tuesday of every month until June seventh. This is the season finale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's oh, okay. So it's, it's dropping every month. Yeah. So we have two episodes uh -huh. dropping tomorrow, and then uh -huh. on April fifth, we have two episodes dropping. Beginning of May, two episodes dropping, and then June seventh is the grand finale, season finale. Nice. Right before summer, summer kicks off. Yes, what um, what's the YouTube uh, channel that they can catch it on? It's Creative House TV. Creative House TV. Yes, sir. Nice. Yep, Creative House nice. TV, because we, we, we do a lot of stuff. We got a lot of different things. We got a chef at Creative House cooking show, different things mm. coming up. So, like, yeah, we our film crew is crazy. And just to mention that, too, with Playing With Fire, um, well, I don't know if y'all saw last year we went to Puerto Rico. So um, with Playing With Fire, that's who filmed it, and they wanted to start doing, like, Playing With Fire Academy. So in Puerto Rico, they had a few artists from Creative House and, like, a few other artists, and we took a content trip. We go out there, we shoot music videos, we do a lot of stuff like that, and um, we just live, have fun. And now this summer we'll be going to DR right after the Creative House show ends. We're mm -hmm. going to Dominican Republic. We rented out a whole hotel mm -hmm. that's just ours. So, yeah. And we'll, <laughs> we'll have, like, 50 artists there, 50 creatives, and we're going to do whatever comes to mind. This, this fucking guy is the big meat of, of content of creativity right now. This is insane. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. Yes, so sir. season two, um, has that already begun to be in shot? Or are you planning on, you know, shooting that? What's up with season two? Depends on what season one takes me, but I mm. definitely want to have a really intimate winter theme. Mm. So it will be around fall winter. Okay. So can't say too much, but that's what we're aiming to start to do an audition call. We're going to have actual auditions for season two where we're going to have the season one cast members on the panel and uh, people like, yeah, audition. The originals. Yes, yeah, sir. Yep. So that'll be like the episode one. Yeah, but that's for the future. I can't <laughs> wait to catch this joint, man. Thank you. Thank for you. real. I appreciate for real. it, bro. Yeah. This is huge. 